Well, this is it guys. This is gonna be the year that either saves Dakota Blue Exotics or breaks it. If you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, well, let me explain. For those of you guys that follow us, you guys know 2023 was a very rough year for us. Not only did we start out with a very late season for all of our geckos, but the sudden move coming in June really just messed everything up. Starting out with 70% of our new Caledonians going off cycle and stop laying since we moved in June, having the cycle be completely messed up with our token geckos, giving us absolutely no eggs for the season so far, to even little things such as our Strahua pair dudding out the entire year. Zero eggs, all duds. It's a bit of a bummer. Boys and girls, just like every year, it seems the 2023 year is now coming to a close. As you guys see in this incubator right here, we got about five eggs that are left that are due to hatch here in a couple of weeks. And then after that, this incubator will be shut down for the 2023 year. But don't get me wrong, it was not a complete bust of the year. We still produce some absolutely fantastic crested geckos, like this amazing holdback lily white. Coverage almost all the way from a baby. We've made some awesome super dazzles as well as some great white walls. We even discovered that we potentially have empty bags already in our collection even before purchasing the pair that we did a couple months back. While yes, we still are producing quality over here, it's the quantity that has been the problem. And it was a real problem this year. Of course, with all the sudden moves and everything, this has absolutely been the worst year for us. And the funny thing is, while 2023 was the worst year for our quantity, only producing around 50 animals, uh, 2024, well, we're gonna do about 10 times that amount. And I'll explain how first way that's going to change is going to be the number of holdbacks we've been holding back. Now, 2021, we are a little bit more liberal, only holding back about seven animals. That changed in 2022 when we held back exactly 13, giving us around 20 geckos that should be ready for the 2024 season. Now, that doesn't mean that they're all going to be ready. You can take this gecko right here. This is going to be a 2022 holdback, an oil spill super Dalmatian tiger, an absolutely beautiful male that I can't wait to put into projects, but as you can see, he's still a little small. For that doesn't mean mean that all of them are small. We've actually been really working hard and going in overdrive, figuring out the perfect diet, what consistency on insects versus Pangea that we should be feeding, and it's really made a huge improvement in the growth of our animals. You can take this go right here, an absolutely gorgeous yellow super Dalmatian, some tiger in there as well. The beauty of this one is the amount of red spots that are in it. It's absolutely fantastic, and at 25 grams only in October, we can be sure that this girl should make weight by the 2024 season, even if it's just a little bit later in that season. Thank you. That also does include some purchases we made. We can take this super soft scale head empty back quad stripe, an absolutely beautiful man. We got a girl there with it. Some empty back stuff, some new lily white stuff, and also some other mutations that I actually haven't talked about, but definitely well here pretty soon. This means hopefully in the 2024 season, we will have 20 extra geckos, actually a little over 20 geckos that will be breeding with us when it comes to crested geckos. But of course, those are just the added on from the previous years we've been holding back. This doesn't include our breeders right now, our adults, that being eight crested geckos, three gargoyle geckos, one shahua, and a newly added lychee pair that will also be producing us next year. All of that in mind, we had an estimated somewhere around 300 new Caledonian eggs for the year 2024, and that would have been amazing. However, then something unexpected and amazing happened. Of course, if you guys saw this video right here talking about the unexpected health problems of Andrew's reptiles, we actually took over his gargoyle gecko collection, which means for right now, we have 12 ready to breed female gargoyles, 10 ready to breed males, and then also a couple holdbacks they'll be bracing up for the 2024, 2025, and 2026 breeding season. Adding all this together, we are then boosting up at least 150, maybe more eggs. However, there's still one spot left we have to go to to get to the 500. is going to be our beloved Tokyo geckos. Now with these brand new enclosures, the brand new cycling, the brand new feeding schedule we've been getting, I am expecting nowhere less than 10 to 20 eggs per gecko. Right now we have exactly five pairs going on. Two of them are doing absolutely fantastic. The green galaxy pair is already bonded, sharing a hide, and ironically, so is the granite pair. I assumed the granite Toke from breeding in the previous seasons that he was going to be a little tough. However, he seems to really adore the heck granite girl we put in there, and they are staying together and being awesome. And of course, we've got a couple 
couple of others the reduced pattern pair uh sharing similar highs but not the exact height so bonding isn't going perfect and then of course you guys saw in this video right here my worst toke gecko bite the platinum and het platinum pair these guys i knew from the beginning they were going to be a little bit of a tougher gecko to get going a little bit of a tougher pair but so far so good they're at least in similar heights not exactly avoiding each other it's just getting them synced up and then finally getting some platinum toke gecko eggs we also did an exclusive toke gecko pairing that only the youtube members saw that is going to be big red 2.0 that giant 15 plus inch normal toke or the high red toke or red stripe whatever you really want to call it and then of course that girl that i i, I potentially hypo not 100 percent sure right now of course she's a normal until anything's proven out we actually did pair them as well in this 29 gallon they're doing awesome still also have a couple of females left this normal girl right here then of course the beloved oddball which is a project that i haven't exactly figured out yet but we will know soon of course guys i obviously did not forget super red the amazing toke gecko everyone's beloved toke gecko mutation in my collection we have a very special morph that i am seeking out i'm trying to find the perfect one and right now i just can't find it but i know we can get it soon i have all the feelers out all the networking abilities out to get this male over here and once that is done i am sure we are going to be pairing them and for 2024 we will finally get super red that are going to be het for a potential gene what that gene is i can't tell you yet but you will know as soon as he comes into this facility now at this point you guys are probably asking yourself dakota that's absolutely incredible 500 eggs that's a ton of babies you are finally going to be making it well yes we will take home a very nice sum of cash the issue is is are we going to be able to pull it off to the matter is as you guys can see over here we are quickly running out of room and this is just for our breeders some of our babies that are left over and our holdbacks let alone putting 500 baby geckos into this room as it is right now it obviously isn't going to work so some changes to be made some stuff needs to be moved and some added enclosures and added pricey enclosures needed to be added and that really comes to the point is we are either going to make it or break it we're going to be able to pull it off or we are going to sink and inevitably well fail dakota blue exotics of course as always your boy's got a plan to pull this off the only problem is that plan is going to cost me a lot of money and let me explain step by step step one is actually going to be remove this we only have two animals that are actually on this shelf the rest are just empty enclosures so we're actually going to be adding another layer over where that holdback baby quince monitor is into that to put those enclosures over there leaving us a complete wall to utilize now originally what the plan was going to be is getting brand new enclosures for all of our crested geckos and our holdbacks unfortunately with the new addition of 20 plus gargoyle geckos that just couldn't be done financially so i discovered a new plan that is going to save us a little bit of money and that is basically going to be building a gigantic rack system guys this is going to be a custom made new caledonian rack system utilizing these 58 quart bins that we already have pretty much what we are going to do is making it about six feet across and then seven feet high to hopefully holding somewhere around 30 to 35 bins for all of our female crested geckos well at least our crested and gargoyles when it comes to our chihua geckos and our lichianus they do need a little bit more specialized care that i found don't really work that well in the tubs but for the cresteds and gargoyles these work absolutely fantastic now that leaves now all of this space for the 500 baby geckos now doing some quick math right we're not going to have all 500 well i hope we don't hopefully you guys are going to be buying some at best if you guys are absolutely fantastic and continually buying from me at the bare minimum we will always have 120 geckos on hand just because of the fact that you need to wait at least six weeks so over three grams for those geckos to go and when egg hatching season goes we'll be doing about 60 geckos per egging hatching season so two months for geckos to go and then at those two months we will have around 120 geckos hatching at that time you know your boy i hate using these lids the sliding rack system will help completely with that but we also need to do that with babies there is no way i'm going to be opening uh, over a hundred tubs every other day to do feedings mistings cleanings all of that stuff it's not going to happen which means we're going to need more rack systems now funny enough what i found out is actually doing these bigger size rack system for these 58 quarts aren't that expensive that, that entire custom made rack system is going to cost me somewhere around 800 to do but when you get to the intricacy of constantly having to add layers for something like these shoebox bins the price quickly goes up and so it's with that i actually figured out that actually utilizing aftermarket rack systems that people have already made it 
doesn't make too much of a difference and it saves me a hell of a lot of time. But doing the math on the amount of rack systems that we need to hold each gecko, the best one I found that holds the most and is also the best cost efficiency is going to be about $420 per rack system. And we're gonna need about four of those, which means the cost for these rack systems for all of the baby geckos, around 1,500. Which means for a grand total of all the stuff we need, it's somewhere around over $2,000 that we need to get over here before the 2024 season kicks off and we start producing babies. Actually, the cost doesn't stop at that two grand. Now we gotta get into the miscellaneous stuff. Those are gonna be the papers for paper cleaning, the decor to make sure the animals feel good in their enclosures. Now we're talking about the upgrading of our feedings, the amount of insects we need, crickets and roaches, the amount of Pangea that we need to feed 35 to 40, 45, including males of the Pangea food. It's gonna be a lot of money. We are gonna be needing to spend somewhere around three to four thousand dollars to make this work, even before we sell one baby gecko that we produced in 2024. Of course, guys, Bernie Sanders memes aside, I am here once again to ask for your help. There are a few ways that you can help level this expense in order to keep us afloat. And finally, finally being not only a reputable business with 500 babies, but money. Dakota no longer being broke. If we can pull this off after 2024, <laughs> after 2024, guys, what I have been building for five years will finally become a successful business. And when that day comes, man, I don't know. My heart will just full of pride. <laughs> I've been we're doing this, struggling, all of the obstacles in our way five years and this year is going to be the year that makes the biggest difference for this business now some ways you guys can help make that dream come true is number one buying a baby we have around nine listed right now with about nine more that will be ending off in the in the morph market here in a little bit later we'll be doing some sales for black friday and halloween coming up make sure you check it out again dakota blue exotics or just go to my morph market to check out all the stuff we have there other great ways to help support us are going to be of course the links we have down in the description that's going to be the sponsorships such as zen habitats or repti links we have of course the patreon on channel or even merch anything like that any little bit helps to go a long way in making this dream a true accomplishment but hey i get it guys 2023 has been an awful year for the economy a lot of people are struggling not only myself you can't monetarily or financially help us out over here that's completely okay the best thing you can also do is watch these videos all the way through give them a like share them with your friends to help with the ad revenue that comes in from the youtube videos that helps pay a large chunk of this At the end of it a lot of emotions are going on a lot of joy and happiness but also anxiety and shred this is going to be a crazy journey and i'm, I'm going to be taking you guys on that journey step by step if we transform this facility into a proper breeding facility to get this gigantic amount of gecko babies we will produ be producing in 2024 to finally have what we're I just find it funny, you know, the goal for this year and last year was a hundred eggs and now we are going to do cinquimple, cinquimple, a five, five hundred geckos people. Wow. I just, <laughs> it's going to be absolutely insane. And as, as much worry and anxiety I, ha I do have about it, I'm excited and if we pull it off, boys and girls, it's going to be something absolutely incredible. As always, guys, if that wasn't enough for you, you can check out the room tour that we have over here or just some of our gecko videos that we have in this playlist right here. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to follow us over here at Dakota Blue Exotics. I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, goodbye.